Hello one and all, it's Jamie here and today we are taking an exclusive look at Green Hell VR on PC. Now you may remember developer Inkugo released a quest version of this survival game a few months back that resembled a streamlined version of the flat screen original. The PC version meanwhile is promising the full fat experience so we're going to take a look at how that's shaping up. Now just to point out here, I'm running the game on low settings on a 3070 Ti just to avoid any performance problems. You might remember this was an issue with a recent demo of the game and Inkuvo says it's still working on optimizing it before next week's release. It was running pretty well for me on medium settings, but I thought best to capture on low as we're mainly looking at the gameplay here. As you can probably tell, there's quite a lot of screen tearing going on on the screen right now, but that wasn't actually happening inside the headset. There are still some performance hiccups. Even then though, I think the game still looks pretty good on low, and if Incuvo can make some last minute improvements to the other settings, it'll be gorgeous on medium and high if you have the rig for it. So naturally, you are going to notice some similarities with the Quest and PC VR versions. For example, there are VR exclusive features like picking up a rock and bashing it against another rock in the environment to get the smaller pieces. But as you can already tell, you are getting much wider environments that are pretty much one-to-one -one with the flat screen version on PC. Moving into our encampment, we're going to make a shelter and a fire. Now to craft in the game, it doesn't work like the quest version. This time you'll be bringing in the actual crafting table, putting the materials you need for certain items onto the table, and then making it from there. So for example, we're gonna make a couple of axes here. That requires getting a stick, a stone, and then you can pick up the kind of ghostly silhouette and it'll appear in your hand. We'll make a couple because as we all know, stone axes don't last very long in Green Hell VR. Now we bring out the notebook just as we would in the quest version, but as you can see, there are actually a lot more structures to choose from in this version of the game, even from the off. First thing we're going to make is a hut shelter so we can actually save our game and won't have to worry about death as much as we would otherwise. There are already some sticks helpfully laying around to do this, but if we're going to create the entire thing, we're gonna to need to chop down a tree. And that works pretty much as you'd expect. I'll grab my stone axe and just take several swings at a trunk. Now that splits into different pieces of different sizes. And again, as with the quest version, you can pick them up, hit them with the axe again to downsize whichever kind of stick you need. We'll jump forward a bit now. I'm just putting some palm leaves on the shelter to finish it up and hurrah, I can save my game. The next most essential thing to do is of course build a fire. And I won't make you watch me gathering a bunch more wood for that as well. We'll just cut straight to the part where I need to craft a fire plow. Now I can grab some tinder, put it on the plow. And once I figure out how to use it properly, we can heat it up to make an ember. Then we just grab the ember, drop it into the fire, and hurrah, man has created fire. So yeah, those are two very, very basic constructions that you'll want to make right at the start of the game. But as you can see here, there's a heck of a lot you can make in this version of the game, particularly once you get access to bamboo. Again, it's pretty much one-to-one -one with the flat screen experience. That said, if you've played the Quest version, you might miss some of the more physical labor that was involved with actually building structures, and it's quite curious that it's not in this version of the game, actually. It's a much more automated point-and-click process. Once you've made those structures, the next thing you're going to want to do is get a source of food. I could use an axe to go and hit some animals on the head, but animals like to run away from things like that, so we're going to need something with a bit better range. We're going to make this spear here. Uh, using a stone blade, a longer stick, and some rope, we quickly, well once we hold it from the right angle, we quickly make a stone spear. So that's going to give me much better melee range, but again, 
Most animals, as you can see here, aren't going to want to really stand right next to me and wait for me to kill them. So we're going to have to get a good throwing arm. I've practiced a bit here, but... There's a great shot. I think. It looks kind of a great shot. So we're going to chase after our meal, and it's already pretty hard to see where they've gone, but fortunately they leave blood trails, which are quite fun to follow in VR. And as you can hear, I'm actually getting near a snake. And again, the vegetation actually makes it pretty hard to tell where it is. In fact, as you can see, I've only just spotted him watching the video, but I didn't see him in VR, so I just very boldly walked right past him. Anyway, here's our spear, which means here's our prize. Once we grab a blade, we can carve into the body, uh, get all the tasty meat, and take it back to camp for cooking. Now, back at camp, unfortunately, another curious piggy is snooping about, so that's another chance to practice our throwing arm. This is a pretty terrible throw. But as you can tell, the game's pretty forgiving about it, which, in the long run, is probably a good idea. I also laid down a trap earlier, which you can see I'm now coming to collect. Although the meal doesn't look quite as tasty as a boar. Just a poor, happy froggy. Ready for eating. Uh, start up another fire and we can cook those. That's going to take a while. So let's go in search of some different food while we're waiting for those to cook. And this is actually one of the cooler elements of hunting in the game. Taking your spear, going into the river uh, and looking for crabs. So here I'm just following downstream and eventually uh, I happen upon a couple of crabs that fortunately for me appear to have lost their minds. Makes for an easy kill, tasty meal. And then this other crab thought it had avoided the plague but nope, there it is, it gets you. Another tasty, tasty treat. Of course, some things in the jungle will also want you dead, like these tribesmen, who can be dispatched with some melee attacks. And of course, if you end up taking a lot of damage, you'll have to heal yourself. Now, in the quest version of the game, that extended to just looking at your arms, but as you can see in the PC VR version, Inkuvo's actually brought back checking your legs too. So that's just a quick look at some of the new gameplay features and mechanics coming to Green Hell VR when it launches on PC VR headsets next week. We still didn't cover things like swimming, but we'll give the full game an entire review with our final impressions next week. If you liked the video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notifications button, and we'll see you soon for more VR content.